Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Metabolic Conditioning. I am Caitlin. Happy Friday. Today we are on phase four and we are week one. Um, we're doing upper push, lower pull. So for weights, you just need a medium set of dumbbells. Uh, we're going to be morphing the ESD with our strength and power for this phase. So um, kind of that medium set is perfect. You don't need to go super heavy. We're going to start with our pillar prep and on our back with supine lumbar rocks. So and drop your legs down to one side and drop down the other side. So actively pushing your knees down towards the ground, getting some movement through your low back and your hips. Wonderful. Now we're going to go into a 90-90 stretch with an arm sweep. So 90 degrees with your arms, 90 degrees with your legs, and you're going to reach that arm up and around the top, trying to keep your fingertips on the ground, trying to bring that shoulder blade to the ground, and then up and around the other way. Back and forth. You can exhale when you bring your arm over the top, and inhale when you bring it back around, going for about four reps. Wonderful, and then switching sides, flipping over, arm up and over, reaching around, opening up that chest, your shoulder. Once you finish those, we are going to go into a single leg glute bridge. So on the ground, put one leg in the air and press your hips up. Going for about eight reps, really trying to activate the glute of the leg that's on the ground. And don't push up so high that you feel a pinch in your back, just enough to really engage your glutes, activate your posterior chain. And once you've done about eight, switch over to the other side. Eight on the other side. Wonderful. I'll give you guys a few more seconds to finish those up. And then we are going to move into our movement prep. Okay, so standing up when you're done here, we are going to be starting with a single leg RDL. So you can pick a side. I'm gonna take back with my left first. So you're gonna be balancing on one leg, coming over, maintaining that your chest is coming over and you are kicking out. Don't let your back round. So we'll be doing that side. The other side, then we're going into a squat with an overhead lift. So squatting down and our arms are coming up overhead and then stand up. And then our final one, our seal jacks. So opening up here, jumping side to side, or round one, if you wanna take a little low impact, you can step out to the side. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, single leg RDL. So kicking back, take a leg, and stay on that for this first round. Focusing on that balance. If you need to hold on to something, that's just fine. Good. Staying in your heel and midfoot, not going into your toes. Good. Shake it up. Then we're going to be switching over to our other leg. Getting ready. In three, two, one. We're on. Take you back here. Again, focusing on that balance. Really a nice little stretch through your hamstring. Good. I always need to work on balance. <laughs> There's three, two, 
One awesome job. We're going to our squat with an overhead lift. So you'll squat down your legs to be nice and wide, reaching over your head. Ready, three, two, one. Good, squat down and reach. Stand up, nice. Good. It's okay if you can't get your arms all the way over your head, but really trying to work on keeping that chest up and strong, staying in your heels before you lift. Good. Let's go for two more reps here. And last one. Perfect. We're going to go into our seal jacks next. So jumping in and out here, or you can always step in and out. We can take it a little slower, round one. Round two, we're really gonna ramp it up. Three, two, one, we're on. Good, letting your heart rate come up. Keep control of your breathing. Finishing it out here in three, two, one, perfect. Okay, we're gonna go right back to the beginning. Single leg RDL. Take a side, and then we'll switch for our second exercise. Ready, three, two, one, we're on. Take back. This time, if you can take away that object that you're holding on one, try to focus on your balance and your form. Still need to hold on for safety, obviously do that. Nice, one more rep. Good, shaking it out. We're gonna go over to this other side. Starting in three, two, one, we're on. Take back. So. Having that really nice little stretch in your hamstring. Chest is strong, back is flat. Really nice job. Here's three, two, one. Perfect. We're going into our squat with an overhead reach. This time, if you want to speed it up a little bit, get that heart rate up, you can just squat down, overhead reach, and stand up. Okay, three, two, one, we're on. Here, still warming up here. Always take it slow. You just focus on that form. And you go nice and low, getting that full range of motion. Yeah, last one. And perfect. Okay, seal jacks. One more exercise and we'll get a little breather. Finishing out this warm up right here. And three, two, one. Good. Jumping in and out or stepping in and out, but a little quicker this round. Yeah, a little faster here, 10 seconds to go. There's three, two, and one. Awesome job. Grab a quick drink. Okay, so next we have our strength and power round. We are going to be doing some strength exercises and some cardio or ESD exercises that we would normally have in two different sections. We're gonna morph them together right now. So I'll get my timer set and then I'll explain the first ones. Okay, so today we're going to be going through four rounds through these. We have an RDL to start us off. 
So if you have a set of dumbbells or a band, you can always put a band underneath your legs, hold on to the sides, going down and up. We are going to be doing that for 35 seconds. So keeping the weight to the band close to your legs, bending over, standing up. Standing over, standing up. This is a hip hinge exercise. So you're hinging at your hips, going down nice and flat. There's no rounding of your back. Then we are pairing that with a plank jack. So you're in that plank position, jumping out, or you can always step up. If you need to modify this one, just come up to a couch or a chair and do the same thing, stepping out side to side. Okay, I'll explain the other ones as we go. So 35 seconds of the first one, our strength, 25 seconds of our cardio, and then we'll get a 30 second rest for this first round while I explain the other ones. I'll shorten up the rest later on as we go. So RDL in three, two, one. Good, grabbing your weights or your band right here. Sit back, coming up. Trying to keep those weights nice and close. Your legs the whole time. So go about halfway down your shins and then come back up. Shoulders are strong, back is flat. <laughs> Really nice. We're going to be going right into that plank jack. And three, two, one. Right here, nice and flat. And we're on. Good. So you're jumping in and out or you're stepping in and out. Good. Nice and quick here. Keep your core tight. Ten seconds to go. Yeah, there's three, two, and one. Woo, wonderful job. We're moving on to our next two exercises. For, for our strength, we have push-ups. You can do those on your knees or on your toes or up to a couch or a chair. So staying nice and flat, you're going down and pressing up. That'll be 35 seconds. Then we are going into burpees. So arms are up, you can step back, Step back up, stand up. You can always do the same thing to a couch or a chair quickly, um, or you can jump. Let's go for it. In three, two, one. We're starting with our push ups right here at 35 seconds. We're on. Keep that core tight. Push through it. Really nice job. If you ever need to take an extra break, that is fine. Just breathe it out and then move on to the next exercise with me when you can. Okay, we're going into burpees in three, two, and one. We're on right into it here. Yeah, modifying up to a couch or chair if you need to, or just stepping back quick. Standing back up. Nice, we have 10 seconds. There's three, two, and one. Woo. Wonderful job. We're moving to our next exercises. So we have an alternating overhead press. If you only have one dumbbell available, you can just choose one side. And then after a few reps, switch over to the other side. But if you have two dumbbells, one arm, then the other, back and forth. So you're gonna be pairing that with a split squat lunge jump or alternating reverse lunges. So hardest version is here, jumping, switching sides, modify, you're just gonna go into a reverse lunge. Keep it quick though. Focusing on that form, but bring that speed because that's your cardio exercise. Okay, let's get rolling. In three, two, one, we are on. Alternating overhead press, or if you have one dumbbell, one side for three or four reps, and then switch over to the other side. Good, punching that weight into the air. Keep it quick right here. Yeah. 
Nice job. We're going into those reverse lunges or alternating lunge jumps. Three, two, one right here. We're on. Nice job, you guys. Bring that focus and that speed. Good modification quickly with control, <laughs> stepping back. Yeah, there we go. There's three, two, one. Good. One more exercise right here. We have tricep kickbacks. Bent over, elbows in, kickback, hold for a second, and then come back up. If you only have one dumbbell, you can do it just one side, three or four reps and then switch over to the other side. Main thing is your upper arm is not swinging. Elbows are in, kick back, hold. Okay, three, two, one, good. We're just doing the strength this time. No cardio exercise on this one. Get a nice breather after this first round. Good, bent over, chest is strong. Weight is in your heels. 10 seconds to go here. There's three, two, and one. Woo, wonderful job. Set your weights down, grab a drink, walk it off. Really, really nice. Round one complete. <laughs> okay, so for round two, three, and four, I'm just gonna take away a little bit of rest now that you know all the exercises. Still, if you need more time to rest, take it. Just listen to your body. Okay, we're staying with the same format for our Time on, 35 seconds of our strength, 25 seconds of our cardio, where we need to really push it, and then about 15 to 20 seconds rest. Okay, we're gonna be starting with the RDL, and then going into our plank jacks. So grabbing those weights, having them close again. Okay, one last drink and we will get rolling. Okay, grabbing those weights, getting ready to go, ready to rock, and three, two, and one. Awesome. Coming down, pause for a second at the bottom. Really bringing that form nice and flat with that back. Good. Get that butt back. Really nice. 10 seconds to go here, then we're going right into our plank jacks. And three, two, and one. Good, setting those weights down. Good, plank jacks, or you can always step in and out. Keep your core tight, modify as needed. 10 seconds here. Yeah, there's three, two, one. Perfect. Nice job. We are going into our push ups and burpees. Our right, next two. Getting ready to go. Modify both of these for either one as needed. Three, two, one. Push ups. Even if you're doing push ups on your knees. Keep that body nice and flat. Don't have your hips in the air. You can always modify this one on your knees up to a couch as well. Yeah, holding strong here. One more rep. And then going right into your burpees when you're done. Good, we're on. Nice job. 
Yeah, those reps in are right here. Yeah, 10 seconds. Go for two more reps. There's one and two. Woo. Wonderful job, breathe it out. Alternating overhead press or three on one side, three on the other. And then reverse lunges or split squat lunge jumps. Okay, getting ready to go. Three, two, one, we're on. Push through it here. Getting control of your breath after those hard burpees. Bring that focus and intention right on this exercise. Punching that weight up right to the ceiling. Nice, we're going to those reverse lunges or split squat lunges in three, two, one, we're on. Good, here we go. Chest is up. Focusing on that form, but also bringing that speed when you can. Yeah, three, two, one. Woo. Shake it out. One more exercise right here. Tricep kickbacks. Grabbing those weights. No cardio one after this. We'll get a nice breather. Okay, bent over. Three, two, one. Elbows in. Kick back. Hold for a second. Really nice. Keeping those elbows in and strong. Checking in with those upper arms. Not moving at all. Good. We've got two more reps here. Make some quality reps. There's one and two. Woo! Wonderful job. Take your breather, walk it out. Make sure you grab a drink right here. Round two complete. Doing great with time. We got this. Okay, so we have two more rounds, just like we just did. Bring that focus on each exercise. When you're doing a strength exercise, really bring that focus right to the muscle group you're trying to work. When you're working on that cardio, bring those quick movements, but hold that really great form. Okay, we're going to our RDLs to start. In your hamstrings, glutes, and the muscles in our low back. Okay, let's get ready. In three, two, one. We are on. Grabbing those weights down and up. Feet are about shoulder width apart or slightly inside. Good, and just like the last rounds, we're pairing this one with plank jacks. Really nice. 10 seconds here. Okay, plank jacks in three, two, one. We're on right here. Nice plank. You can always step out to the side. You need to modify. Yeah, 10 seconds. Speed it up a little bit around three. There's three, two, one. Woo. Wonderful job. We have our push ups and burpees next. Getting ready to bring it. Okay, starting in three, two, one. We're on. Nice, strong push ups. These can be a little slower. 
focusing on that form. And then your burpees, I want you to bring them fast. Good, get in three more push-ups. There's three, two, and one, right into those burpees. You've got it. Good, stepping back, stepping back up if you need to right here. Yeah, 10 seconds. There's three, two, one. Woo. Breathe it out. Alternating overhead press and split squat lunge jumps or reverse lunges. Okay, getting ready. Three, two, one, we're on. One arm and then the other. Control your breathing right here. Yes, we got this. Keep pushing through about 10 seconds to go. And we're going into our lunges. There's three, two, and one. Perfect. We're on. So nice, quick reverse lunges or jumping. Yeah, chest is up, bring that speed. 10 seconds right here. There's three, two, and one. Woo. One more exercise. Breathe it out, we have our tricep kickbacks. Good, grabbing those weights. Getting ready, three, two, one. Take back hold. Focus in on that form. Chest is over, but flat. There's about 10 seconds. Three or four more really quality reps. There's one, two, one more, and three. Awesome job. Grab a drink, walk it off. We have one final round left today. You've got this. I'll give you a really nice breather right here. <laughs> Getting ready for our final round of the day. Good. Proud of you for showing up, giving it your all, and setting yourself up really well for this longer weekend, for weekend with family. So we can push it on this last round, right? We're in a few more treats. Good. I'll give you another 30 seconds or so. Doing really great on time. Uh, controlling that breath. Okay, we're going to be starting with that RDL. This time I'm going to give you a little more rest in between, but that means I want you to push it even a little bit harder when we're actually on. That's when you push it, rest when we can rest. Okay, going back to our 30 seconds off in between. Because we can. <laughs> Okay, starting with the RDL and going into our plank jacks. Ready, three, two, one. We are on right here. Last round through the day. Good, setting those hips back. Wait, stay close. Nice 
Nice job. 10 seconds to go. Leg jacks in three, two, one. We're on. Right into them here. Good. Stay nice and flat. Yeah, core is tight. 10 seconds to go. Keep pushing it. Yeah, there's three, two, one. Awesome job. Breathe it out. Next, we have our push ups and our burpees. You got this. Okay. Making your way down to the ground. Getting ready for some quality push ups right here. And three, two, one, we're on. Good, pushing that ground away from you. Really giving you power through your hands. Good, moving that ground. We have about 10 seconds to go. Hold on to it. There's two more reps, and then you go right into your burpees. There's one and two burpees. You're on. Nice job. Modify is needed. We have 15 seconds. Keep pushing it. Yeah, there's three. One, Woo. wonderful 30 second break right here. We're going into our alternating overhead press and split squat, <laughs> split squat lunge jumps or reverse lunges, alternating. All right, catching your breath, getting ready to push it. And three, two, one, good. Punch that weight up to the ceiling. Nice and strong. Yeah, keeping that core tight, not leaning back. Punching that weight straight up. We're going into our reverse lunges. And three, two, and one right here. We are on. Bring it. Last time through these. Make them great. Get a little lower if you can. Yeah, there's five, four, three. Two, one, Woo. 30 seconds. Last exercise of the day. Tricep kickbacks. Good, catching your breath here. Last one. Okay, grabbing those weights. Getting ready, three. Two, one, fast form. Shoulders are strong and back. Back is bent over, but flat. Weight is in your heels. Good, when you extend, hold for a second. 10 seconds to go. Last few reps. There's three, two, and one. Woo! Wonderful, wonderful job. Shake it out. Don't sit down right here unless you need to. Grab a drink and walk it off. We're gonna do a few minutes of stretches.
Good. Thank you for making some time for you and your day, giving yourself a little gift of movement. Really nice. Okay, we have two minutes to stretch it out. Elbows up. We're gonna pull back, stretching out our chest and our shoulders. Bring those arms slightly down and back. Good. Exhale, bring your arms back. Inhale, come forward. Wonderful. Just paying attention to your breathing right here. Getting control. Oh, I have two more stretches for you. The next two are on the ground. So we're gonna sit down, lift your right leg up, drop your right ankle over your left knee. So it looks like a upside down four. And then you're gonna push your body forward that knee, really stretching out that hip of your bent leg. So it's the seated figure four stretch. So pretty nice. <laughs> Especially if your hip is tight. Good. Just let yourself relax out of it for a second and then come back up in. Wonderful. Dropping that leg, switch over to the other side, crossing over, and then leaning up into it. relaxing, shaking it out, coming back in. Our final stretch of the day, we're going to be on our back. Right leg straight up in the air and put your hands interlacing behind your hamstring. Pulling in, you can have a slight bend in your knee or keep it straight. Really nice hamstring stretch. Good. You can actively push away with that leg to make it a stronger stretch, or you can just pull in with your arms or a combination of both. Good. Dropping that leg, switching over to your other side. Good. If you are feeling extra tight today, make sure you get some really nice movement in on this beautiful weekend. Get out hiking or walking, maybe even a bike ride. Awesome. Thank you all so much for coming today. Happy Friday. Um, come back to Metabolic Conditioning on Tuesday and Friday next week. And then we also have our Q2 schedule starting on Monday. So check out the new classes we've added. So thank you.